Okay, y'all. Okay, Thanks for y'all. clicking right on my here, video. Right here, I got one of those little picture frames um, from the Dollar Tree. In this video, I have some Valentine's There's Day DIYs. There's just a number. So I don't know. Like farmhouse, some savage shit. Picture. So I'm just anyway, shitty, but they, um, I'm just anyway, gonna take the back. I, I love enjoy it. The video. And I'm gonna take a piece of. I love y'all from bottom my heart. I have that paper. You I've already so, started so y'all. Very much. Y'all oh made the world to me. A scrapbook and paper. I, I want to show y'all that weekend. book. It's similar Bye. to the paper I got from Hobby Lobby. But I got that book at Walmart for like five dollars and fifty cents. A scrapbook paper. Y'all need to check that out. I mean, it's got beautiful paper in it. And I got that one. It's just got gray and black and stuff like that in it. I got it from Amazon for five bucks. Anyway, and I'm just going to take my Amber glue stick. And my paper was loose, so I had to pull that off, you know. And make sure you get the edges really good. But just take my little glue stick. And I'm going to put my gray scrapbooking paper down. Because I don't want to see that mess through my thing. You know, those words and all that torn up paper. Yeah, I didn't know if that other paper was going to be see-through. So, and then I take my Elmer glue stick again, and I'm just going to throw that piece of paper on there. Yeah, I just think it looks good, and it makes the picture smooth, and you can't see through it. And use my little brayer. That shoves all that glue out so I can wipe it down around it. And then take my craft, not my new craft, not my mama got me for Christmas. It's a cricket when it's so nice. Anyway, um... Just cut that out. Now, I'm going to sand down that frame, y'all. That frame is flimsy. I mean, flimsy. I thought I was going to break it when I sanded it. But I know the paint don't want to stick to it. So, and I take me a wet wipe and wipe it down. Get all that gray mess off there because you don't want to mix it in with your paint. And I'm going to take that beautiful folk art home decor chalk paint. And it's color sage. And I had to give four coats. And I don't know why, but four coats. It was crazy. Um, I'm going to take my solar wood flowers. Aren't they beautiful, y'all? Um, if you don't have these, you can just use any flowers. I heard that the Dollar Tree had many roses that was white. I, I don't know. I haven't been able to go to the store in such a long time. I haven't been to Dollar Tree. <laughs> it's bad, y'all. It's bad. I'm jonesing. Anyway, I'm just going to put it in the shape of a heart. And I clipped off the mess from the back of them. I want to make sure they lay flat. And just made me a little heart and filled it in with more flowers. And I think this is so pretty. So elegant. Just shabby chic. This video is pretty much something for almost everybody, y'all. Um, you know me. That's how I like to do it. I want to show you. I take those canvas bags. That was from Easter last year. And those canvas bags right there is little totes. And I cut the back off them. And I tear them up and make them little rags for shabby chic. And then I have some tool there. I got that from Hobby Lobby on sale for a dollar or something like that. Dollar twenty-five. Couldn't have been much because I ain't gonna pay much. Anyway, and you just tie it together right there. Tie that down the center. Gonna fluff it out. Shuffle, shuffle it around. <laughs> Not shuffle. Shuffle it. Anyway, hot glue it down there. Take a fourteen millimeter bead. Those come from the Dollar Tree. It's just I put them in a baggie. So, cause you know if you open them bags, they just go everywhere. And anyway, glue me a little pearl down there in the center of my bow. And then I'm going to take some um, ivory baker, baker's twine. And I'm going to put beads. I'm going to put a large, medium, small, medium, large, medium, small, medium. Yeah, like that. <laughs> and I did, I think it was 16 beads. And just lay my string on the back there. Put some hot glue down. I didn't put it on the frame. I just put it on the picture part, the back of the picture. Because <laughs> I didn't glue my frame in either. But, and I'm going to take me some white duct tape, cover up that ugly string, put some hot glue down, cover it up because the back of my frame was white. Anyway, and there's my hanger. And there that is, y'all. Isn't that beautiful? I think it's beautiful. I really, really do. I believe it's, I believe, I think it's very elegant. Whoop, whoop. Anyway, okay, y'all. That green burlap, I bought that almost two years ago from Walmart. Again, I didn't pay anything for it because I'm tight. But anyway, and I cut it down, and I cut it um, six by four and a half. I wrote it down so I wouldn't forget. And if I did forget, hopefully y'all could have seen it because that's how I do it. Anyway, and then I laid it on top of there and was trying to cut it 
you know, to make it match. I'm like, that ain't going to work. I'll show you what I'll do later. But, y'all, if your burlap's all janky, iron it out. Because mine was a mess. And after I ironed the squares I already cut, they were so crooked. So I just laid it on top of there, took my chop pin, and cut out my pattern that way. And drew it out. You know what I mean. Yeah, see? Y'all, y'all. Then I folded it in half. I want to make a pin, but look what I hear. Don't do that. I made a pocket. Anyway, <laughs> when I folded it, if I aimed the open part towards me and just laid my scissors down flat and went straight up in the middle, I cut it right every time. And I got that galvanized heart from Dollar Tree last year, and I'm using it as a pattern to cut out my hearts. Now, I was being really careful doing that because I wanted them to be, I wanted the hearts to be wrinkly looking and stuff like that cheesecloth is that I got from the Dollar Tree. After I cut all my little hearts down, this going like, now I'm going to take that Aileen's Tacky Glue. Now, I love that stuff. It sticks to everything, wood, material, everything. But um, it also dries clear. So even, you can see it through that cheesecloth now, but you can't when it dries. Anyway, and I'm going to take that lace ribbon um y'all i'm telling y'all's too good to me but stephanie defino and wanda cruz sent me so much of that lace ribbon i don't have to buy any for a long long time they're amazing i got some more perky prize, prizes y'all i need to show you i'm not gonna be able to do it today but i'm gonna show y'all um anyway so i got that big old needle right there i got that pack of needles from walmart my craft room is clean now so I can actually find stuff. <laughs> anyway, well, if you do make this peanut, make sure you stick the needle through the front. And, yeah, go through the front and then come out the back. That way your string will run behind it so it's not showing in the front and looking all janky. Unless you want it that way. But I didn't want it that way. I wanted to hide that string that would lay across it. And make sure you give yourself plenty of string left over. Okay. Now, I'm going back to my cheesecloth there, and this don't have to be perfect, y'all. I think there's about six inches long. I don't know, about half inch wide, maybe an inch wide. And I cut little slits in it and just ripped it. There again, making me some shabby strings. I did the same thing with my burlap. Not rip it, because if I tried to do that, the burlap would have fell apart. That would have been a hot mess. I missed you all so, so much. Anyway, I did the same thing with my lace ribbon. Almost didn't know what to do or how to do it. I forgot everything. <clears throat> okay. I'm going to take a piece of my cheesecloth. Then take a piece of my burlap. Then take a piece of my ribbon. I'm just going to tie it on my string. And I do it again two times in each one. Cheesecloth, burlap, and ribbon. Now, I did let those hearts dry overnight, y'all. I Yeah, set them aside and let them dry. And you can't see that glue at all. Well, I don't know what I'm doing. I think I done told you everything. And, oh, at the end, I just tied me two little loops. Excuse me. <clears throat> I need to drink. I, I thought y'all need to know how to tie loops, so I thought I'd show you. I'm so sorry. This water bottle so loud. Oh, my goodness. Mm. There it is, y'all. Isn't that pretty? I'm actually going to keep that hanging up. Down here, I really like it. I think it's pretty, and it matches my little picture I just made. Okay, these few next ones are really easy. I got me the five-gallon paint stir sticks, and I was going to cut them 10 inches across. I wrote that down first. Um, I measured it out, but I ended up cutting 11 because I wanted them to hang over a little bit because I'm going to make me a little ladder. Now, I don't care about the handles at the top. I just think, I don't know, I think it's cute. You can actually add a little border cross. I was going to do that, but I ran out of time. I want to make sure I got a video out to y'all. Anyway, because it's been two months almost. Oh my goodness, two months. Y'all, I just love y'all to death, and I've missed you terribly. I really have. Thank you for the prayers. I surely needed them. I went to my parents for Thanksgiving. My dad had something called the rhinovirus, which really isn't a that big a deal. I mean, it is. You feel terrible. But I had no immune system, <laughs> very low one, and it tore me up, and I got sick, and things went downhill from there. Still an infection in my left ear and my jaw, but I'm getting better. Yeah, I was 
bad y'all couldn't hold my head up anyway sorry painted it all in waverly white chalk paint and there's my little ladder now i got those little packs of hearts from the dollar tree look they're different look at that i didn't know that um i did get to go in and grab a couple things they didn't have anything and i just took some mod podge put it on it took pieces of um scrap material laid them down there on there my little hearts put mod podge on the front laid them down there let them dry Took my craft knife, cut them out, and you'll see them later. So, I got that little thing from Dollar Tree. It's a little tiny um, gnome. And I took um, burnt umber and water and mixed it together, and I stained it. I, I lost the footage of me doing the rest of it. So, I just stained it up, and then I took a Sharpie, and I outlined all the lines that was on my little gnome to begin with. Because <clears throat> if I had showed you I could have, uh, beforehand, you would have seen all the little lines. So, now I'm just going to paint in his little beard. Y'all, this thing is so adorable. I don't know what it is. I heard someone say, I think it was Lynn. No, I don't know who I heard say That it's a succulent uh, thing. You put succulency in it. I can't even think straight. Anyway, I painted one of my little hearts white. One of them pink. I painted his little hat and outfit pink. And my little red heart, or my little heart red there. And I just took my Sharpie and went back over those lines again to make him stand out. And <laughs> this is so cute. Okay. So, here is that, that beta line needle I'll tell everybody about. It's got that giant eye. You can do anything with it. I'm telling you, I y'all, I got it at Walmart. Look, I bent that thread at jute in half, stuck it through the eye of my needle, and was actually able to pull it through a little tiny hole. I use those things like crazy. Um, I've been looking for them for y'all, and I haven't been able to find them, but I did find them at Walmart, and I did help somebody find them on Amazon. Um, so they are on there. And because I wanted my little thing to face forward, I didn't want it to hang sideways. I'm just talky, talky, talky. And of course I am. And I just took and put me some floral foam down in there. Now I'm taking them little hearts that I made. See, some of them's little gingham, red and white, black and white, little red and white, white with red stripes, just cute little. Glue them to some skewer sticks and cut them down. And I'm gonna, I wanted a little bouquet of uh, material hearts done in there and some little roses. And I got those from the Dollar Tree. <clears throat> I think I got those last year. They look pretty rough. Anyway, I'm just going to take the bud out of them. I just want the bud. And I was able to get three buds out of them. Now, you better look at them if you're going to want buds because not all of them have the buds down in them so that one had three so i got lucky anyway i tore the flower part till i got to the bud i'm gonna stick me some spanish moss down in there those three little rose buds and my little material hearts hee <laughs> oh isn't that cute look at it oh my gosh <laughs> and it's the cutest i don't know why i like it so much Anyway, woo, I got those skinny sticks from the Walmart. You know what? I bought those last year and didn't know where they were. Anyway, so I'm going to take one of them little Cupid stickers from the Dollar Tree and I glue it to the top of one of my little skinny stir sticks. It says they're for lemonade. I don't know. And I just cut it down. Y'all, I'm making a key. <laughs> and I cut three little pieces off to the side. Y'all are wondering why I'm doing this little silly stuff like the ladder and my little cake. You'll see. You'll all see. Oh, you probably already saw on the thumbnail. Anyway, whatever. Um, So, I just glue three little pieces to the back of it. And I take that little heart. Look, I made me skeleton key. And I take that steel by Waverly, that steel chalk paint by Waverly. And I paint my little key. I wish I had some color bronze, but I don't. And that surprised me because I have every other color in the world. And I painted them with the steel, and I drew a little keyhole, and I took some Waverly Antique Wax and ran around the edges and spots to make them look old, and I just something cute just to have. I glued me a piece of jute to the back of my lock, glued me a little piece of string to the back of my key, looped it, and then I strung them together on a piece of string. And you'll see what I do with them. It's really, really cute. I think they're adorable. Look. I think it looks like a little key. <laughs> it's cute. It's a Valentine's key. Anyway, y'all, I got that these two little houses from the family dollar. 
I've had them for a minute, so. And I got those square plank things. They come from the Dollar Tree. Just going to remove all that mess off the back of them, sticker and all. And I'm going to take three of those little square planks and some of my folk art home decor wood tint. And I love that stuff. Walnut is the color. Oh, I was going to say, if you do this and you stain your thing, use a brush around the edges. I could not get that rag to get that stain in there. Alrighty. And I got eight of those little cubes, you know, come them, them little teeny tiny cubes that come in them little packs at the Dollar Tree. And I stained them too. So I'm going to make me a little house pot, a house, a plant holder. I just, this thing is so pretty. I'm telling you the truth. I, I want to make an outhouse one. <laughs> that was random. Just a little tiny one. I don't know if I want it to hold flowers, though. I think I want to put a door on it and put little tiny things in it. That would be cute, y'all, wouldn't it? Sit in your craft room, have a little outhouse. We could figure a way out to do that. Anyway, so I just glued the sides to the little... Okay, I glued the bottom on, and then I glued the sides on. Now look, if I had my silicone mat and hadn't lost it, that would not have happened. I ordered one, y'all. Finally got one coming to me. I ordered one from Amazon. I, I don't know. That's been driving me nuts. I don't know what in the world happened to it. And I'm just talking, talking. Y'all don't care. Y'all can see what I'm doing. But I missed you. And I needed to talk to you. I'm telling y'all, I really missed y'all. And I love y'all so much. Anyway, I glued my little cubes down in the corners for extra support, you know, to help hold it up. But it's not going to be banged around. I don't have any children here, grandchildren here. Anyway, I take those little galvanized hearts I got from Signs last year. And I was showing you different little ways you could do it. You don't have to do it how I did it. Just, you know little hearts, and I took a galvanized one and a little tiny, teeny tiny black gingham one that I made and glued it in the middle, and I took four, the other four little cubes, and I glued it some little feet on, and I put me some floor foam in there, and those roses, no joke, got at Walmart last year, I got like four dozen of them, maybe five, for 25 cents, those pink roses, no joke, true story, after Valentine's Day. Anyway, and then I really like the color of the eucalyptus that I have, so I put it, I love eucalyptus, y'all, so I put it in there with it because I thought it looked really pretty together, so there it is, isn't that just adorable, see, that kind of reminds me of a little outhouse, so I think that's why, why I like that, maybe I should have turned that into, I, I just need to stop talking about it, but isn't that cute, I just love it, ignore my window back there where the windows was put in, it's still a mess, Anyway, I got that galvanized thing from the Dollar Tree. Y'all, I got that back in Christmas. I had so many Christmas DIYs that I wanted to... Y'all, I'm so... I was so sad. I cried. Anyway, I got those dowel rods from the Walmart and that little crate there from the Dollar Tree. And I'm sorry if you're new to my channel and this is your first time watching. I'm just... I'm a hot mess and I've been sick for a couple months and I just missed all my fellas. My, not my fellas. You know what I mean? My... my my gang, I miss y'all. Anyway, the cat birds. I painted that in that blush pink, that hobbly loobly paint, chalk paint from the Walmart. You know, I love that color. The paint is terrible. Anyway, and I glued, I cut two of those sticks down seven inches, sorry, and cut two of them down six inches and just glued them in my little thing. Now, that sign just bent just so easy, and I'm like, huh. And I thought about cutting it off, but I didn't want the sharp pieces, so I was like, I'll just put it on there like that. Ta-da! And I took the string out. And I glued it down. And I got my little candy booth here. It's so cute. Y'all, it's so cute. I took another scrap piece of material. And I cut six little teeny tiny squares out. Then I folded them in half and made them like pendant style. <laughs> yeah, that tiny. It's so cute. I don't know why I'm showing you me doing all of them. And I wrote the word... Kisses, K-I-S-S-E-S, -S -S, on the little banner. <laughs> it's so cute. And I took a piece of jute, ran it across my material, laid it down on the back of my little banner pieces, and that's how I made it. And look, I, I tied a knot in each end of it and glued it to the inside top of my little booth there 
It's my kissing booth. <laughs> Look, it's so cute. Y'all can even see it. I filled the little crate full of raffia. I had some red stuff. That's what I plan on putting in it from Christmas. Some of that red filler. Anyway, and it's buried in Christmas totes. Anyway, so I put raffia in there and dumped a bunch of Hershey's Kisses in there. Mm-hmm. Look at that wild thing in my way. And I took one of those little um, chalkboard tags from Dollar Tree. She was bumping me. And I wrote kisses five cents. Um, it's kind of sloppy writing because, like I said, she was bumping me and bumping my legs and everything else. So, yeah. Y'all, she is so big now. Now, she's seven months old. She weighs 58 pounds. Almost 60 pounds, seven months old. It's crazy. Anyway, so I glued my little tag to the front of my little booth. And I took some of that raffia and made me a little bow. Um, tied me a little bow in it. And hot glued it over that hole in that chalkboard tag. Because I don't like that hole showing. To be honest, those two holes in the back of that galvanized thing are driving me nuts. I usually put glue in them if I paint them, but I didn't paint it, so... Hopefully, the sticks is covering it as best it can. Anyway, here it is, y'all. Isn't that cute? And there you got you some Hershey's Kisses. <laughs> I think it's adorable. I use different colors and everything for different... I don't know. I'm just having a blast, y'all. It's been a while. It's been a long while. Um, there's my little keys, and I don't know why I showed you those again. Um, Anyway, but I did. This is everything, y'all. It's it's over. It's the end. But see how I took my little ladder and I hung my little keys on there and I hung my little succulent planting thing on there and my beautiful banner. It went too fast, y'all. Oh, my goodness. I just don't even know. Anyway, <clears throat> I love y'all from the bottom of my heart. I've missed you terribly. I thank y'all for all the prayers. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Hope it didn't let you down because it's been so long. Y'all mean the world to me. Big hugs. Y'all, I forgot that I left this in here. I you already saw Jessie a little bit, but I just wanted to y'all see her again in slow motion. Look how tall she is. She comes up to my shoulder almost, but she's still little. Like her head's real little and stuff, you know what I mean? <laughs> she's still a puppy. I was trying to get her to give me five, but yeah, that don't look like it right there, does it? I think... Uh, tell, I'm telling her to tell everybody hi. Look, she thinks I got food. Nope. Air five. Look at little Abby in the background. Look at her shaking her little... It's a wiggle butt club. Look at her. How pretty. You're my pretty girls. Anyway, I thank y'all from by my heart. I love you so very